Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial we're gonna talk about the list view and how to display different things on the list view. If you remember from the previous uh, homework I gave you, uh, this uh, could be a good solution. So the list view, like you see here, uh, simply lists things. It could be plain text or images or uh, whatever you like. Okay, that being said, uh, I want you guys to, to know the secret videos if you don't know already. You can access them uh, just by reading uh, the description and uh, follow those steps. So, uh, let's take a look at the list view here on Google. So, if you want a plain list view like this one, so simply uh, simple text, Okay, you, you can just type list view Android developer and uh, simply follow these steps. They are very simple and uh, very well documented. And uh, simple as that, you'll get the list view like this one. And uh, it's a, uh, you don't need a video tutorial to show, to show you how to do it because uh, it's all here, okay? But if you want something more complex like uh, grabbing images from the internet, these are uh, internet uh, images, okay? I don't have them stored uh, anywhere. And also uh, do some tricks, well, you have to, to like this. Just type in Google Android Lazy List Stack Overflow and uh, on the first uh, result. Just remember, we're using lazy lists, okay? On uh, this first uh, result, this one, okay? It's uh, here a response for from Mr. Fedor. And uh, just click on the GitHub, not uh, the source, GitHub, okay, and here is the code, and click the zip to download it, okay, so let's just extract this to, to my desktop, okay, and here it is, and uh, now let's import it into Eclipse. By doing this, you'll also learn how to import other projects. So, just click uh, File, Import, then uh, choose Existing Project into Workspace under the General tab, Root Directory, and uh, let's set it to this. Okay, and uh, as you can see, it uh, finds uh, this project. Click Finish, and uh, you, you see the sign, it means you, we have an error and it says unable to resolve target Android 3. That's because I don't have AP3 installed. Let's just go to properties and uh, under the Android uh, menu, just select uh, Android 4.0. Let's click apply and OK and now. now Let's try to fix project properties. So um, you uh, right click uh, the project name, Android tools, and fix project properties. Okay, and it says to clean your project. Here's how you to do it: project clean and. Uh -huh. No, I don't know why it didn't work the first time. So probably because I, I hit apply anyway. It's a small error here that uh, tells us to remove the override annotation. And uh, as simple as that, we can just uh, just run it. 
of course uh, and uh, as you can see we already have a, a list with all the coding that loads images from the internet of course you can uh, rename the um, rename uh, this project so uh -huh. so I don't know Twitter feeds okay just uh, uh, the manifest here min SDK version remember to change it accordingly to your project according to your project and um, this list is okay but uh, let's see how we can uh, modify some uh, some things in it so for example let's add a title here to each uh, each item and uh, here's how to do it under the layout uh, you see you have um, an item, item XML and uh, this item represents uh, a single uh, row here so if you for example let's say you uh, here as you can see it's a linear layout so you can uh, add everything you like for example you can add another layout or a grid view or a table or really anything you can you can think about okay so just Feel free to modify this uh, according to your needs. And uh, here is just uh, just work. So it's you have to put a lot of uh, a lot of uh, time into a nicer layout but uh, it's worth it because users appreciate it so I now added a new new text view called title okay so um, We, we must grab the titles from somewhere so let's make a, a string array and uh, here and uh, etc okay so next thing you, you need to do is go to in the lazy adapter and uh, here under view get view just uh, get a reference to the, your title okay and uh, to get the titles as you can see the lazy adapter has only one parameter which is a text so here in this adapter for the list uh, lists use adapters to, to get that data and uh, these adapters are the key to anyway I'm, I'm talking crap here don't listen to me so uh, next uh, we'll add uh, the titles here okay so they just add the parameter string okay and just make something like this okay and with this
and because we we don't uh, have uh, as many titles as uh, the strings here we, we put only zero here in case you have the same titles you just put the position so let's run it and test it and as you can see we now have a modified list with titles okay so that is it you now have a list of course you can uh, you can now um, how to get uh, uh, the click item for the list so it, like, let's say we have uh, we have here some news okay some uh, title and uh, read more news and when we click it we want to go to the a web page for example well if you look uh, under Google here there's an uh, a function called the uh, on item click listener and uh, you, you do it like this okay so list set on item click listener okay actually let's redo this Let's just call a toast and uh, this arc to uh, arc to yes, int is the position. So you clicked position number. Of course, you can replace a toast with an intent or any other piece of code you want. And there you go. Well, I hope you like it and uh, remember the secret videos I, I'm telling you about. <laughs>